Hey, what's happening guys? This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm going to show you how is the Cosmic OS ROM which is based on Android 8.1. Last time I tried the ROM it was in a boot loop or stuck in a boot animation. So it's I heard that it's booting now in the OS so let's flash it and see how is it. Okay, so first of all, download the ROM and G apps and firmware from these websites. All the links will be in the description box below, so do not worry. Okay, so earlier today, I flashed the Epic ROM and I didn't like it, so here I am back again in TWRP Recovery. So now, let's swipe cache, Dalvi cache, system data as usual. So now, Let's go to install and flash the ROM and gapps file. I will flash the firmware file later. You will know why. Once done, hit reboot system. Okay, so finally as we are booted into the system, let me complete the setup process. So the setup process is done now. As you can see we are on Android 8.1 Oreo and from the settings I couldn't find the fingerprint scanner settings. So I rather tried face unlock here. So let me set up the face unlock and it worked pretty well I gotta say. Here are some demo of the same. As you can see, the face unlock is working quite amazingly. Okay, now I tried to make a call via GeoVault E, but I couldn't hear a thing. The call was connecting though and I tried it multiple times it was the same and it was that moment when I think it happened to me because I flashed the ported epic rom earlier. So I immediately go back into TWRP recovery and flashed the latest firmware and then after rebooting into the system I find out the no sound issue while Valdi calling is fixed now. Here is the demo. Welcome to Geo Bangla Chono. Act the pool. Hindi ke liye do dabai. To continue in English, press three. And I even found the fingerprint scanner option in the settings, which I couldn't find earlier. So that's amazing. So conclusion: It might not happen to you. But if it does, after dirty flashing the firmware file, everything will start working as it should, like this. And if you are someone who loves customization, you will find that in the settings named Galaxy. I will go through them one by one. Just watch if you need it, or you can just skip like 30 to 40 seconds.
and let me check if the camera is working fine and yes it's working fine for me so conclusion after flashing the firmware everything like vault e fingerprint sensor camera torch wi-fi etc are working fine and the performance of the rom is pretty good and the ram management is pretty good too like any other good audio based custom roms and here are some little good things about this rom that i liked are the system theme color you can set it to dark or light as your liking and with this even the quick settings panel colors changes to dark or white and some stock app icons looks a little different in this rom so that's cool as you can see the phone and contacts icon here and while charging it shows the ampere in the lock screen so that's cool so that wraps up this video guys hope you have enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here this is tito from kdn tech signing off i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye now Oh,